Choosing the right fonts is crucial for designing a good user interface. Some fonts are good for speed reading. For example, Times New Roman, they say because it's familiar, makes reading quick. They also say that because of the angle of the serifs, one character leads into the next. Some fonts are good for coding. Monospace fonts, in particular, mean that where indentation is crucial in coding, all characters line up with their indented pairs. Some fonts are good for legibility. Comic Sans, though it's often criticized for its style, is very good for people with dyslexia. Luckily, there's other good fonts for dyslexia. There's also bad fonts. For example, this one. The B and the D, when isolated, are exact mirror images of each other. It's important to consider things like kerning in your fonts, too. Now, this font, when it's spaced out far, is very readable. But at its default kerning, the R and the N almost run together. If we were to take those two letters and decrease it even slightly further, the R and the N just start to look like an M. Also consider font weight. Some fonts only have one weight. This font has a ton of weights. So while the thin version of this font looks really nice at a large font size, at a small font size, it's almost unreadable, which is why it's good it's got heavier weights. Line length also can be hard for certain reading disabilities. So you may want to consider running your lines to only about two thirds of the screen width. You might also want to consider space between the lines. Font availability is important. Some fonts like Helvetica are commonly found across multiple operating systems and are called system fonts. They can also be found in multiple languages. Google fonts are all free and they're served from Google servers. So if you're using the font on the web, you don't have to host the fonts from your own server. They're cheap, but some fonts are crazy expensive. This one's $5,000. Another thing you may be thinking about is using 3D fonts. And while this is tempting, I actually wanted to use a 3D font in this Hubs experience. When viewed at odd angles or across screens with different DPI or resolution, it can look really pixelated. They can also be really computationally expensive, slowing down the experience. When choosing a font for your UI, your best bet is to keep them readable and keep them customizable.